Well, folks, here's that Nightmare Ford Explorer, and I'm basically done. As a matter of fact, I've even got the battery back in it, and I've already started it to make sure that it's going to turn over just fine and that it's at least going to run. What I need to do is I need to service the transmission, which means I need to drop the pan, put a new filter in there, get it filled up with fluid. There's a special procedure to filling this transmission, and you have to have an adapter for it. Okay, right here. So you see that middle spot, right? That middle spot right there? And right in the middle of that plug, okay, is actually a secondary plug. And that's where you fill this transmission at. All right, and so what you do is Ford has a special adapter. You pull this middle plug here, you stick your adapter in there, and then you put in five quarts. And then what you do is you pull your hose, you start it, and you let it run, and then you pull your hose, you leave your adapter in there, and you you let the poured, uh, the fluid, sorry, the poured, you let the fluid pour out of here until it actually stops pouring. So as it's running, you the fluid will pour out of here, and basically what it's doing is it's self-adjusting. Uh, the, the fluid level and then once the fluid is done pouring out of here you put your cap back on and you're good to go for a test drive so everything is is back together as you can see and like I said I've already started it and I have a few things that I need to fix up um, actually the only thing I really need to fix up is, is I do have an exhaust leak so uh, I suspect I probably just need to retighten the exhaust down a little bit more the, the leaks have to is at the junction uh, so it's right here basically so I probably just need to tighten that down get that tightened up and uh, all that other good stuff I've been real skittish with the exhaust because of the way this job has treated me but yeah as far as turning wrenches I'm pretty much done with everything aside from just going through and doing all my checks and stuff looks like my babies are home so I will pause it real quick because I need to go tend to them. All right, sorry about that. I had to get the kids off the bus and inside and settle down and everything. So yeah, I am. This is where I hoped to have to end the day. Yesterday was starting it, making sure everything's good with the torque converter internally in there, all that other good stuff, and then starting starting to get it back on the road. But because that exhaust manifold broke on me twice so the first one exhaust manifold broke and then the second exhaust manifold broke but because that exhaust manifold broke on me i ended up having to take extra time today and get that fixed up and you know that's not my fault that's not the customer's fault so when it comes to stuff like that you know most shops they do charge uh upcharge that's where you get your stories from people where they go well the shop told me fifteen hundred dollars but then when i went and picked it up it ended up being twenty three hundred dollars you know so when, when it comes to extra stuff like that so long as the owner doesn't get too stressed out and upset then i have no problem just taking the extra time to fix it up only issue is is on this one i had to cut the studs out because of the way that new exhaust manifold broke it left the studs because it broke here it left the studs on the other side of the exhaust and because i had it torqued down I was not able to get it out without cutting it and so I ended up having to cut those stinking studs out and in doing so I cut myself man I'm gonna tell you something I slipped with the with the side cutter and I nicked my finger and I'm gonna tell you man I went right down to the bone dude I think I needed a stitch but who cares for one stitch we'll be all right so yeah at this point this job has got my blood my sweat and my tears in it but i'm going to end the day today on a good note i've started it i've ran it i've began all my checks for nuts and bolts i do have an exhaust leak i need to look into and remedy probably just need to tighten it down and all that other good stuff and a handful of things that i just i just need to tweak and get perfect because as you know i pay attention to every detail and i don't let any jobs go out 
without knowing for sure everything that I've done is up to snuff. So, so this will probably be the last video for this Ford Explorer. It's been a job. I'm excited to get rid of it this next weekend and get back to some of my fun projects like restoring this uh, Toyota 4Runner and a few other things. So, all right, folks. Well, thanks for all your support. Thanks to all my followers that uh, shoot me words of encouragement on videos and jobs like this. I really appreciate it. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.